Pause the podcast you're listening to right now and subscribe to Ghost Town. Ghost Town is me, Rebecca Lieb. And me, Jason Horton. And we explore all kinds of weird history, true crime, hauntings, paranormal events, and more. We cover the Slenderman stabbing, Tesla's death ray, the D.B. Cooper copycat, the cheerleader murder plot, Heaven's Gate, the Lars Midtank mystery, and Tuesday's Child, Ellie's first satanic magazine, just to name a few. You can find Ghost Town on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. In 1961, moviegoers take a fright break, a nuclear bomb drops on North Carolina, Six Flags has a civil war, and the mystery of Lucy Ann Johnson is solved. I'm Jason Horton, and this is Strange Year. To get you reacquainted with the very politically charged year of 1961, JFK is in the White House. The long-standing tension begins between the U.S. and Cuba. The Freedom Riders challenge segregation. Construction began on the Berlin Wall. And West Side Story is in the theaters. Elvis Presley is all over the music charts. And Pampers was introduced to the public. I want to focus on the obscure, so let's get into some of the events and occurrences that you may or may not be aware of that made 1961 a strange year. The Accidental Bombing of North Carolina. January 1961. At the height of the Cold War, Americans lived in fear of a nuclear attack by the Soviet Union. But a newly disclosed document reveals a time when the United States accidentally dropped bombs on its own soil. It literally would have changed the course of history. It was just three days after John F. Kennedy's inaugural address that the United States narrowly avoided a nuclear disaster. On January 23, 1961, a B-52 Stratofortress bomber was on patrol over the Atlantic. With the Cold War in full effect, American bombers carrying a pair of 3.8 megaton Mark 39 hydrogen bombs were kept airborne at all times just in case. However, on this flight, 19 tons of fuel were lost in just two minutes. As the pilots attempted to get back to Goldsboro, the bomber plunged into a tailspin and the plane began to break up. Six of the eight crewmen ejected And as the plane spiraled to Earth, the bombs, each of which were 260 times more powerful than the bombs at Hiroshima, broke loose and plunged to the ground. Five of the men who were ejected parachuted to safety. The other three were killed in the crash. When responders arrived on the crash scene, they discovered one of the nuclear bombs had landed in a field with its deployed parachute tangled in the branches of a tree. The second bomb struck the Earth at nearly 700 miles per hour. According to Draco12333 on Reddit, if I recall correctly, part of the bomb is still buried in concrete in a fenced-off part of Goldsboro. Homicidal, June 1961. This is the fright break. Do you hear that sound? It's the sound of a heartbeat. A frightened, terrified heart. Is it beating faster than your heart or slower? This heart is going to beat for another 25 seconds. To allow anyone to leave this theater who is too frightened to see the end of the picture. Ten seconds more and we go into the house. It's now or never. Five, four, you're a brave audience. Two. One. Homicidal was a psycho-esque horror film best known for its fright break. It was a gimmick in which to promote the movie, and a 45-second timer leading up to the film's climax, a voiceover advised the audience they could leave the theater and receive a full refund if they were too frightened to see the remainder of the film. Only a small percentage of people actually demanded refunds, and a coward's corner was created for those who did, and the coward's corner was a table complete with a nurse holding a blood pressure cuff. It has been described as if John Waters made a movie like Psycho. Six Flags Over Texas, August 1961. Six Flags Over Texas, located in Arlington, Texas, was the first Six Flags theme park. It had a section dedicated to the Confederacy where actors would hunt through the crowd for Union, quote, spies, and, quote, execute them by firing squad. Children could sign up to defend the South as soldiers or nurses. According to the Dallas News, quote, some visiting Yankees winced at seeing one of their own get it, however. Lucy Ann Johnson, September 1961. 
Lucy Ann Johnson was an Alaska native, and she eventually settled in Surrey, British Columbia. She lived there with her husband, Marvin, and two young children, Linda and Daniel. In September 1961, when Lucy was 25, she disappeared without a trace. What's even stranger is that her husband, Marvin, didn't report his wife's disappearance until almost four years later. And because of this, the police considered it a homicide investigation. Everyone surrounding the home was questioned, but leads didn't materialize. Marvin was never charged. There was no body. Lucy Ann Johnson's whereabouts remained unknown. And in the interim, there was tragedy. Daniel drowned at the age of 20, and her husband Marvin passed away in the 1990s. By 2013, Linda, then 59, felt she had no choice to accept her mother's mystery would never be solved. Quote, I don't remember much about my mother, she explained to the Canadian Post. When my father remarried, me and Daniel were not allowed to bring up her name. So all I was left with were two little pictures and one bigger one. That's all I knew of my mother. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police happened to feature Lucy as part of a publicity initiative called Missing of the Month, which spotlighted missing person cases dating back to the 1950s. When they highlighted her appearance, Evans took out advertisements in newspapers in northern British Columbia and the Yukon, where her mother had connections. A woman in the Yukon saw the old photo and recognized the missing woman as her mother and made contact with the police and Evans, who turned out to be her half-sister. Evans eventually connected with her mother, half-sister, half-brother, and a couple of aunts. Quote, I went downstairs, my mom grabbed me, gave me a big hug and said, I love you. She said her mother recognized her right away because I look quite a lot like my half-sister. She knew right away. Even though Evans said she saw a lot of herself in her mother, there was one major difference she didn't think she could look past. I would never take off on any of my kids the way she had to. On the second day of the week-long visit, the conversation opened up and Evans got right to the point. I asked her why she left us. She told me that my dad was really abusive to her and that he was running around with other women. She said he told her to get out and she went back to get us, but my dad said, you're not taking the kids, and that was the end of that. She never tried again after that. Evans said she didn't know whether to believe the explanation or whether she thought parts of her mother's story were exaggerated. Quote, I just let it go. I didn't want to doubt anything she was telling me, but if there was still a little bit of doubt in my mind, she said, I think I believe her. Just because the way she would look at me, she wants me to believe her. I want to thank the New York Times, CBC, Medium, Reddit, and Dallas News. If you want more evidence that 1961 was a strange year, check out episode 56 of Ghost Town, which is another podcast that I co-host. On September 19th, 1961, Barney and Betty Hill claimed to be abducted by aliens in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. The Barney and Betty Hill incident was the first public account of alien abduction. And of course, you can find Ghost Town anywhere you listen to podcasts. If you could rate and review anywhere you're listening to Strange Year, it'd be really helpful. Also, you can check out the Strange Year Instagram at Strange Year Pod. Thank you for listening, and I'll be back next week for another episode of Strange Year. First time in screen history, a special interval will be provided during the running of this picture for refunding your admission. If you're unable to stand the almost unbearable suspense, the almost paralyzing shock of homicidal... Homicide is your hobby. Uh, may I recommend a surgical knife for a nice, clean, quiet murder? I'm William Castle, and uh, uh, this wheelchair is just to rest my tired nerves after producing a picture like this one. We are so sure you will find it such a shocking and startling experience that we are offering a money-back guarantee when you come to see homicidal. At the height of the suspense, there will be a fright break, an interval during which you can quiet your nerves. If you are too frightened to see the end of the picture, your full admission price will be refunded. Time to go downstairs now. Got a date to carve a corpse.
Pause the podcast you're listening to right now and subscribe to Ghost Town. Ghost Town is me, Rebecca Lieb. And me, Jason Horton. And we explore all kinds of weird history, true crime, hauntings, paranormal events, and more. We cover the Slenderman stabbing, Tesla's death ray, the D.B. Cooper copycat, the cheerleader murder plot, Heaven's Gate, the Lars Midtank mystery, and Tuesday's Child, Ellie's first satanic magazine, just to name a few. You can find Ghost Town on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Leftovers. Or the DMV. Number 97. Or house cleaning. Or Chumba Casino always brings the fun. Play over a hundred different games online for free from anywhere. You could redeem some serious prizes. Chumba. ChumbaCasino.com. Live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Leftovers. Or the DMV, or house cleaning, or Chumba Casino always brings the fun. Play over a hundred different games online for free from anywhere. You could redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. Live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Leftovers. Or the DMV. Number 97. Or house cleaning. Or Chumba Casino always brings the fun. Play over a hundred different games online for free from anywhere. You could redeem some serious prizes. Chumba. ChumbaCasino.com. Live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. Void prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.